Hey, what up, y'all? It's a Dominator with the Gamer Perspective, and I'm playing Sega Genesis, Sonic and Knuckles, Top 9, Mini and Major Bosses. Let's get it. And uh, I did a little half and half situation. I got Sonic and Hedgehog, uh, you know, coming in doing all the damage, and, and I have Knuckles finishing off with the final blows. Coming in number 8 is Sandopolis, and this situation was, you know, Stone Man being awakened from a pyramid and pretty much he's protecting the pyramid or whatever. I guess he's a self-defense mechanism of this pyramid. And like I said, I just think that this level was kind of kind of easy because all you do is a self-destroying boss. I mean, you just do all that. This is the mega boss of his level. And uh, as you can see, like I said, Knuckles is play fighting against the Robotniks, the, the Dr. Robotniks creations of himself pretty much. And uh, Sign of Hedgehog, like I said, he's fighting against the actual Dr. Robotnik. Coming to number seven is Flying Battery Zone, and this is another self-destroying, uh, self-destroying boss, pretty much. They could have did a little bit better, man. They could have had some projectiles or something shooting out his, you know, his boulders or something like that to make it better. Same thing with this level too. He's just shooting the ground and just pretty much destroying, you know, his, pretty much his his own level. That's what Doctor Robotnik is doing. And I think they could have had something floating around, like from Sign the Hedgehog too. They had a uh, Sky Fortress. And they had, you know, some things floating around. I mean, you can get hit. And I think, like I said, they try to remake that level or whatnot. Try to give, you know, bring you back. Say, oh, yeah, this is what it is. And this is the mega boss for this level. And uh, as you can see, you know, it's pretty slow. You can pretty much, you know, jump in the middle without getting burnt. And, uh, you know, take your time. You can hit him four times here. Um, it's a total of seven times, period. So. Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously seven, Knuckles, the same thing, but I think with Knuckles is much harder because he's actually moving faster and then he's, he's just randomly shooting, or not randomly, but he's just shooting um, the flame um, when he, whenever he wants, pretty much, and he's not, you know, relying on, you know, Knuckles to jump in the middle. He's trying to make it harder for Knuckles. Um, coming to number six is uh, Lava Reef Zone. And I just, I just, I don't know what's going on with these mini bosses. I don't know. I know they try to make it easy and they make it hard, but at the same time, it's not really hard. You just gotta avoid getting hit with the machine guns, and you know, hit a hand, hit the hand every time he tries to slam down on you. I just, I don't know what's going on. But uh, this is the um, the mega boss of Lava Reef Zone. He's trying to shoot these missiles at you. I think it was cool because it's like a cutscene, and you know, an interactive cutscene. So. Um, it's kind of like, you know, motion, you know, everything's set and going on. And this is the mega boss of this level. And he's, he's a self-destroying, well, you know, boss once again. Um, could have did way better. Coming at number five, it's hidden palace zone. And you're fighting against Knuckles. He's trying to protect his home. Trying to, and I guess he's thinking, he thinks that Sonic the Hedgehog is there, you know, to, you know, take his super emeralds and everything. But in the end, you know, obviously it's Dr. Robotnik in the end. And, um... Here you go, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog is trying to help him out, you know, trying to show him that he is trying to, you know, fight Dr. Robotnik. Coming to number four is Sky Sanctuary Zone, and coming in that first level boss was, uh, you know, from the first Sonic original game that ever came out. And this is, uh, this this game right here, or this level right here, is pretty much from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Metropolis Zone, the mega, the mega boss in that level. And this is the mega level or mega boss in this level, Saw Sky Sanctuary, and this is Mega Sonic. Mega Sonic is supposed to be the prototype of Metal Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because he pretty much does the same attacks like he did before from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And like I said, I kind of changed it to Knuck or Knuckles situation and showed that this is the the final level for him. And you know he's actually trying to defend his homeland. You know, this is land back there, you know, floating or whatever. He has to put the, uh, the super emerald back down, you know, where you know, so that you know everything can go back to normal, and whatnot. And here you go, he's vulnerable. Here you he can hit them there. Coming in at number three is Mushroom Hill Zone, and the reason why I put this up here at number three is because this is the first level of the game, and as you know, as y'all know me, you, your first level of the game has to be the best. Game, you know, the best is has the bar. You know, it has to be up there because if it's not, then your game is good. I think your game is going to be not so well, not so well put together, not so good. But I think they did a real good job with this first level. Coming in at number two is the Death Egg Zone bosses, and uh, this is the minor boss for uh, Death Egg Two Zone. Or Death Egg Zone, the first one, and uh, like I said, like 
this is where you try to, you know, you're, you're getting burnt out a little bit. You've been playing these games, you know, playing a game for a long time. And now, you know, it's time to just, you know, try to clean up house. And you got to, you know, get all these li extra lives so you can survive. Because if you don't have that many extra lives and you die just over and over and over, you, you know, obviously you're not going to have that much, you know, lives to fight the final boss. And like I said, I thought this was a little interesting too because you're pretty much, you know, you know, turning upside up, upside down, right side up. You know what I mean? To make these vehicles pretty much hit that robotics little egg machine right here, egg pod, whatever you want to call it. And like I said, I thought it was a good level. Coming in at number one is the final bosses. And I think the final bosses will always get put up at number one. If only if the other bosses are not so well good not not so well put together. Like Sign the Hedgehog one, um the final boss was number two. And the final boss was uh, the first level boss with the ball and chain because I, you know, I talked about that in the first one. I, I just think that you know, Doctor Robotic is chain to failure. You know what I mean? That's why he has the ball and chain. It was kind of like symbol, you know, symbolizes his pretty much future and what he's, you know, what he's, you know, what's gonna happen in the future with Doctor Robotic and all his failures or whatnot. But um, with this one, like I said, Doctor Robotic. You know what I mean? He's actually getting better with his machines, but he's still getting, you know, easy release. Like I said, Dr. Bond is still arrogant and still, you know, he's he's on un like like I said, like they were talked about uh before, like people talk about before, like Dr. Bonnick is like one of those unpredictable bosses, one of unpredictable, you know, villains. And that's kinda dangerous. So that's why Sign and Hedgehog is here to shut him down quick. And like I said, Sign and Hedgehog has already been in this situation before. He's put the world on his back, he's put the team on his back, he put everybody, you know, he's he's holding everyone down, you know, of Earth or whatnot. And uh, everybody, you know, got his back or whatnot in the situation. But he pretty much is all alone in this situation. But like I said, he's the best man for the job. So uh like I said, in this situation, I mean, he has, you know, a laser and he has a flamethrower. And I mean, those are pretty, pretty good weapons, you know, towards the end of the game because you got to have something to stop Sign the Hedgehog. If you don't, he's just going to, you know, he's just going to get beat every time. So, you know, Dr. Bonnie's doing the best he can. Now he's running for dear life. He's trying to, you know, set himself up right here so that, um... He can, um, set himself up to the next... Because he's trying to rush to his next, uh... I guess, uh... Escape vehicle whatnot and this is where doomsday zone comes in if you don't get all the chaos emeralds we never see this level so um this pretty much level like i said he dr robotic made it to his uh ship and now he's pretty much on a haul ass right now you know he's trying to get away from you and obviously that's not working because uh, you turn to the supersonic and the way supersonic looks right here he looks like a this i, I call it there's two types of super saiyans there's a goku Super Saiyan is a Vegeta Super Saiyan. Goku is, you know, he's very confident. He's very, you know, motivated to, you know, win. And, um, he, but he's still humble. He falls back on being humble and everything. But this, this Super Saiyan right here, Sonic or Super Sonic, whatever you want to call it, I think he's Vegeta because the way he looks, he just, like, he's been in a situation before and it's nothing to a G pretty much in this situation. So that's, you know, from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. He was the more of Goku because, like I said, that was the first time he was put in a death egg situation where he was in low orbit space. And right here, like I said, you're flying through uh, asteroids and he's throwing, I guess he's throwing like small mini bombs at you trying to, you know, trying to trying to shut you down, you know, trying to stop you so he can, you know, get, get away from you. And I just think that, you know, with Sonic the Hedgehog being in this situation before, it just seems like. He just seems arrogant and seems, you know, complacent, and it's just he just seems like, you know, he he knows, we you know, that he's gonna win in the end, which is kind of, it's kind of not good for this character. I don't know why they did this with the, uh, they kind of changed this character of Sonic the Hedgehog. Cause Sonic the Hedgehog is supposed to be a humble person, and then when they, you know, when they came out with Sonic the Hedgehog three and the TV show, it just killed it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just think that. Um, they should have stuck with that. Maybe you know they would have had more looks, more looks, and uh, with Sonic the Hedgehog probably had a better, you know, a better outcome, better outlook, you know, with Sega and everything. Because I think they just, you know, they just did a bad job with that. And I think that's about it though. But if you like the video, you know, comment, subscribe, uh, like us on Facebook at the Gamer Perspective. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it.